Hi, this is Dr. Robert Antelak at TheGentleDentist.com in Shelby Township, Michigan. And I want to just discuss with you a little bit about uh, whitening of your teeth. Uh, whitening or bleaching um, is an extremely common uh, cosmetic procedure that's done uh, in the dental profession. You can see the whitening, the claims in mouthwash, the claims in toothpaste, the claims um, in everywhere you go. Um, so the, probably the hierarchy of the least effective to the most effective would be, you know, mouthwashes um, don't provide a whole lot of ability to whiten your teeth. The important part of whitening is the surface, the contact that uh, the whitening agent has with your teeth. Um, in our bodies, we have uh, buffers and enzymes that actually break down the, um, the, the, the material that's used to whiten the teeth. And so what's really important is that those materials, uh, they're, not allowed, they're not allowed to contact the teeth with this, this bleaching agent in there, or otherwise it just buffers it out and, and makes it ineffective. So the next, probably the next step up would be um, toothpaste, whitening toothpaste, which can work but takes a long time. The next level up from that would be the uh, white strips, like the Crest white strips. Um, the next level up from there would be uh, home whitening, where we make a uh, customized impressions we do at the office. And this is very effective, where we will use these uh, impressions and these very thin wafers um, of rubber wafers that fit very closely contacting the teeth and when the bleaching agent is placed in there um, it, it literally creates a uh, impermeable uh, zone where the, the buffers and the uh, enzymes that are in the saliva cannot neutralize the uh, bleaching agent. And so that's very effective, probably our most common way of doing it, which is we use the, the night white or the day white uh, by Phillips. So that's probably the, the next level of effectiveness in, in whitening, but probably the, the absolute best type of way that we found in our practice um, is called core whitening. And core whitening uses the technology that I just described with the home whitening. Um, it uses that in, con in concert with uh, having some in-office whitening done too. Um, when we do it in the office, we actually isolate out the teeth so the teeth are um, isolated away from the gums and so all you see basically are the, the teeth and we apply a very strong uh, agent, not an etch, it doesn't etch the teeth or make them softer but it, um, it allows the bleaching agent to actually penetrate the teeth with much, with much more effectiveness. Um, we do this in conjunction with the home whitening and a combination of those two things gives great uh, results. For example, um, this is the type of um, um, effect you should see. Uh, this is the shade B1 afterwards. This is the shade C4 uh, on this patient here that was done afterwards. So the whitening is pretty profound with that. Um, also, you know, these are some other examples of what core whitening can do um, for patients. Um, and so the nice the nice thing about using an agent like this is that after you get done doing that, you're going to be able to take home your, your whitening trays with you and touch them up maybe every six months and wear it for a night and that will bring that color back up to where we would um, see almost to the point where it was when you, when you first completed the whitening process. I like the core whitening because it does not use any light, there's, it's not a light activated. With the light, there's actually heat that comes along with that light, um, and that can make the teeth sensitive. It's also very important that the, uh, to realize also that the core whitening is a neutral pH. Uh, neutral pH means that it's not acidic. Typically, in other whitening agents, um, you need to, it needs to be made in an acid environment so that it acts as a preservative. Um, this acid will actually make the teeth more sensitive when they are whitened. So one beautiful thing about core whitening is that you get a really bright white result and at the same time you don't get the uh, sensitivity that you would find in other um, types of techniques. Um, 
another one another important thing to know is that if you just try to have the in-office whitening done, um, almost guaranteed that your teeth will not stay that color. You have to follow it up with using those home whitening trays because those home whitening trays provide the, um, the slower but more uptake of this bleaching agent when you sleep. Um, so anyway, there's a number of different possible ways of whitening teeth. Um, really before you start, I would suggest you get a professional opinion from your dentist because if you have crowns in your front teeth or if you have fillings, they will not whiten up. It's only the, the enamel on teeth that will whiten. So get your professional opinion, opinion from your professional first before you start because you might be really disappointed when you see how your other teeth are white except this one crown in the front which might be darker. Um, so if there's any questions and you need a dental home, our phone number is 586-247-3500. We're in Shelby Township in Macomb County.